we can make pretty much any sample into a polyphonic instrument in VCV Rec using free modules. A module that I use a lot is the Sicko Sampler by Sikazel. It's polyphonic and has a lot of sample manipulation features. You can also record right into it. To start, choose a sample that you like. It can be anything, and I'd like to encourage you to be experimental. This is the one that I chose. It's a classic I'd see on TV as a kid. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, you may be entitled to financial compensation. We're going to first set the sampler to loop by clicking the loop button here. I'm also going to change it to gate by toggling this switch. T stands for trigger, G stands for gate. That way holding the button progresses the sample playback. Next we bring the play start really close to the play end at a point that we like. As they approach we can hear a pitch begin to form. We adjust it to taste and then tune it to the closest C. I'm utilizing the tuning knob which is located here and a tuner. The one that I chose is Hot Tuna. Now that it's all tuned up, when we send volt per octave information to this port, it'll play the pitch that we want. Here's a lovely chord progression being played with the mesothelioma sample. A lot of non-musical samples, like spoken word or flushing toilets, have harsh tonal outcomes, because the loop points are awkward, and a lot of the buzzing and clicking is what makes the pitch. But if you have an instrument or something that makes a tone, you can sample it and then make a polyphonic instrument in VCV Rec. Here's a sample of me playing C on a harmonica. The pitch wavers a little bit because I'm not the best harmonica player, but that doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to set the start and end points to zero values so that it loops well. The zero point is anywhere where the sample crosses this line, like here, 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 and so on. Now we can make harmonica chords that hold notes as long as we want. One more sweet trick involves the record feature. Here's a nice evolving tone I made with lots of modulation. I just turned a whole bunch of knobs and plugged stuff in until I got something that sounded good. I'm going to record this right into the sampler, using the record feature here and the record inputs here. Just click record and get a nice big chunk of it. Now the cool part about this is that when we play polyphonically, different pitches scrub through the sample at different rates. Here's a low pitch which progresses slower. And here's a high pitch that progresses quickly. When we play them at once, it causes sweet mixtures of sound evolution. Well, that's it for this one. Experiment and have a good time. That's what it's all about anyways. If you like this kind of stuff, you can let me know that by clicking the like button, leaving a comment, and of course subscribing if you haven't already. You can find all of my content, which is free forever, on my Kofi page. Huge shout out to my Kofi supporters. Metasyntax is the newest supporter added to the list. Thank you so much for your support, Metasyntax. You rock and I'm so happy that you enjoy the content. Thank you all again for checking out this video. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.